So if you guys have been shooting with the Blackmagic Design Ursa Mini Camera, or maybe you're looking into getting one, um, this video is about the solid state drive adapters that I've been using. And as you know, Blackmagic Design has released their solid state drive adapter, but it only works with the Ursa Mini Pro. So if you have the original Ursa Mini like I have over here, then it's not gonna work for that. You need to upgrade your firmware and then you have to install it on the Ursa Mini Pro only. And the reason why is this is the solid state drive adapter here. It takes one drive and it records from the SDI in and output here. Now, there's a couple of cons to this. It is a nice solution, a very clean solution. There are no wires. It hooks up right to the camera. And when you mount a battery on the back, it powers up the solid state drive adapter. So there's nothing to fuss with once it's mounted on your camera. The cons is that it uses the SDI in and out ports. And so you can't connect this to an ATM if you're doing live production, live switching, because uh, this is where you do all your color controls and things like that. And it only uses one drive. And because it uses one drive, in order to keep up with the speeds of the higher frame rates and, and the raw output, it has to be a really good drive. And also because it's only one drive, you're maxed out to 4.6K raw at 30. Whereas the camera itself can shoot raw on CFast to uh, 4.6K 60 frames a second because um, you could do dual card mode. And so it kind of writes one frame to one card and the other frame to the other card and it alternates. So it shares a, the data between two CFast cards. Whereas if you're using the SDI to solid state adapter here, you only have one drive and you're max out at 30P. Um, there's also a couple of other quirks here. Like when you put a battery on here and you turn your camera off, the, um, there's a parasitic draw. So the, the SDI adapter, just the LED light stays on. And I could see that my battery meter is on as well. And uh, I've waited a few minutes and it didn't seem to turn off. So you just disconnect the battery to make sure that you're not discharging your battery. Uh, it's probably not a huge draw, but it, it, is, it is something there. So there are definitely some pros and cons to the Blackmagic Design solid state uh, drive adapter here. Remember, OneDrive only works with the Ursa Mini Pro, um, only works with the SDI and uh, in and out. Um, so that's that's that. And this is the old CFast adapter here that I was using, the Atox C2S. I have a video on this if you guys are interested. As you can see, it's dual drive. So you put two solid state drives in here. It's basically a CFast to, to SATA. And with the two drives, you connect the CFast adapter into your CFast slots. Now what this is going to let you do is uh, do dual drive mode and you could do your full 4.6K 60P recordings um, using this type of setup here. And uh, so that's, that's a good thing. You'll get max resolution, dual drive mode, and it works with the older Ursa Mini as well as the Ursa Mini Pro. So it, it will work for both. It, it, you could record more, longer, um, and you you don't have to mess with your SDI in and out, so you can still work with an ATM. This con here is that you've got this brick attached to the top. You've got this extra cabling here. As a matter of fact, there's another cable that you need to power this uh, adapter. So here it's a 12 volt input. It takes a 12 volt to maybe a D tap on your uh, battery, and uh, I, I lost the cable. Um, I'll, I can make another one. I could find another one. But the point is that it does have extra cables. You've got this extra length cable here. You've got this brick over here. There's more pieces to this. And then the obvious place to mount it on an Ursa Mini is usually at the top handle unless you have like some sort of big rig. But this gets in the way of your top handle when you're trying to, you know, manage your camera. It, it's just sometimes too much. And, you know, if you're stationary on a tripod, you know, fine. But I like to run around. I do a lot of uh, kind of run and gun type shoots. So this solution never worked well for me. So I always use my CFast in the uh, Ursa Mini. And so I stopped using this thing uh, a little while ago and just started using CFast, spending more money on CFast. But let me show you the new adapter that's out right now. This is a, um, a CC Tech solid state drive adapter to see fast uh, it looks very similar to the black magic design adapter here it mounts on the back it's powered by the battery 
There's no extra cables except for the cables that come out off the side here to the CFast. Um, outside of that, it does not record from your SDI in and out. It records through the CFast. This is actually dual drive, whereas a Blackmagic design is only single drive. So this actually can take two solid state drives in here and you can do dual card more dual card mode 4.6k raw 60 so this is more full featured than the black magic design as far as recording goes and you can record to dual solid state drives and not take up your sdi input and it's backwards compatible to the ursa mini whereas this is only on the ursa mini pro because of the hardware output on the sdi so to me this is like the biggest win ever um, it's cleaner than this setup here it's pretty much the same setup as this it's just mounted a lot cleaner it's designed very much like this here very little cables to manage the drawback is that you can't close your lcd because the cables are here so you just have to eject your cfast before you close your lcd if you're packing it away but most of the time i'm not packing my camera away and when i do i'm not pulling it back out very quickly so it's I think this is like the better solution than Blackmagic Designs. Um, that's just my personal opinion. The only thing this has on this setup right here is that you can close your LCD. So getting back to this one, this is an aluminum machined uh, adapter here. It, it feels very well made. I've tested it out, works great. Let me show you what the drives look like inside of it. So here we have a Samsung and a SanDisk and we just drop them in here just like that. Close it up. Another benefit to this one as opposed to the Blackmagic design because we could do dual card mode, we don't have to get those really expensive solid state drives. I mean, you still want to get good ones, but you don't have to get the ones that have to absorb all of that data rate because this one only uses one drive. So everything has to work with this one drive on the SDI output. Whereas this one, um, you're, you could use lesser or cheaper drives and it'll work just as fine because you could do dual card mode. So I just threw a battery on here. I'm gonna power this Ursa Mini Pro on. So you could see that the setup is still very clean. Matter of fact, even though it's dual drive, it's smaller than the single drive adapter from the Blackmagic design. So I still find this a lot better. And as you can see, I can grab this, I can put it up to my chest right up over here. I don't have to worry about cables or any kind of weird adapters hanging out. This is the only thing that you have to deal with. So when you're not using this, you could just tuck the CFast adapters back into this case here, close it up, and then you can close up your LCD. So still fairly clean if you're packing your camera away in a bag. Uh, very well mounted um, it takes four screws on the inside and then it actually came with this battery plate as well so that's a win and uh, yeah it's just been um, a better solution for me than the Blackmagic design solid state adapter uh, so I think uh, if you guys are looking at getting the Ursa Mini camera Ursa Mini Pro um, this is probably one of the best solutions for media because CFast has not gotten any cheaper and you need dual CFast in this camera to get the maximum raw and the highest frame rate. Even Blackmagic solution here doesn't offer that. And it's only one drive. So, and it's only compatible with Ursa Mini Pro, not even backwards compatible to the Ursa Mini. So if you're gonna invest your money on solid state drive adapter, this is by far the cleanest one. No wires except for these little CFast ones here. Um, dual drive mode gets powered up by the battery really solid build and it's going to add value to your camera it's going to add value to your production i used to shoot 1080 hd because i was trying to be conservative with some of my cfast cards and i love the image quality i have no problem with that but sometimes you want that 4.6k or 4k so you can kind of crop or be a little bit more creative you could do some fake post camera moves uh, you could do image stabilization with 4k uh, so there's a lot of benefits to shooting at the highest resolution in this camera the problem was it just ate up a lot of data and cfast is not cheap so i could basically get two terabytes on a solid state drive for the price of one 256 gigabyte you know good cfast card so uh, it's definitely been worth the value i'm going to probably add this to my other cameras as well uh, again because it's all backwards compatible and i'll be able to record to solid state media while i'm doing live production with my sdi 
in and out. Um, again, this has just been the best solution that I've seen, cleanest solution. I know you can make it yourself, you're gonna save a little bit of money there, but uh, when you have to do a lot of running gun, you don't wanna manage all this extra cable and you know, I, I don't know, that's just the level I'm at right now. So this right here, if you guys are interested, take a look at it. I'll have a link below this video and also on the blog cheesycam.com.